it's time to create a sequence so we're going to click on new sequence timed sequence and I'll move this up here where we can see it we have our plugs our arches and it's untitled right at the moment you will need a piece of music that you're planning on using for your sequence uh, an mp3 is what you'll need it doesn't play mp4s so we'll I have one sitting on my desktop uh, jingle bells here that I'm going to use so we'll go to tools associate auto and we'll find jingle bells here on my desktop we'll open it up and jingle bells is now associated if we were to save it at this point it's going to ask you what you want to call this one well we're going to call it jingle bells then save now you can see at the top right here this one is titled jingle bells if I were to close up now that I've saved it I can just X out and now you have jingle bells here in your recent sequences if you uh, had two or three of them here jingle bells and whatever else you can open your sequence back up by double clicking on it you can also go to open sequence and this is where they're stored we'll uh, open up jingle bells here by highlighting it and now so far as putting in our beat bars in the how-to videos from Vixen they talk about using audacity to import the uh, beat bars into here well I've, I've been to audacity and they don't do that anymore it's got a notice across there that it doesn't work with Dixon so there's still the old way we'll go up here now this symbol here is mark manager and this one is associate auto audio so you can also go over to the tools go to mark manager but it's right here on the menu bar so we'll just open it up we're going to need to add a collection and uh, we'll start out here with new collection it's highlighted now the color that we want the bars to be over here on our sequence I like white because it's a whole lot easier to see and you change the color the same way we did before we just left click on the color I'll choose white OK it and now the beat bars will show up as white we have jingle bells associated so as we press the playback right here it'll play the jingle bells I'll stop you can grab the slider here and take it right back or move it anywhere during the song and the way we're going to get the beat bars is going to be with the tapper we're going to check this box here for tapper now every time that I click the mouse cursor on this box it will save that beat we don't need to go through the entire song all we need is just a good sample and you can either use the mouse with the left button to click on this or you can use the space bar I prefer the mouse button myself so I'm just gonna start it and then I'll start clicking you'll see uh, depending on how well this uh, screen capture works you'll see the bark box light up white each time that I click on it so let's start it up and get a sample
Okay, that ought to be plenty. Accept the new marks. Okay. Now your marks are showing up here. So, to put them into the uh, new sequence here that we're writing, all we need to do is just okay it. And having that highlighted, it will accept these marks. And they'll show up now in the uh, sequence. You can see them here. Now, if they appear to be off, and these are, we actually want it right at the beginning of the beat here. So I'm going to move this by just holding down the left button and dragging it over where I want it. Turning loose, and now it's lined up right with the beginning. I'm going to go to the end of these and do the same thing. I'll set it right at the beginning of this beat. And now having changed them here, we've also changed their position in the Mark Manager. So I'll go back to Mark Manager. We're going to highlight collection once again. This time we're going to select all. All of the beats that we created, we're going to set them. Now they're going to be highlighted. And now we're going to evenly space these marks by clicking the evenly space marks. And it changed all their positions slightly, if you saw it go. I'll OK it. And now you can see that all of these are right at the beginning of these beats. For the rest of the song, I'll go back to Mark Manager. I'll highlight them once again. And we'll come over here. And I'm going to select all because it needs to know uh, the spacing that you're using. And we're going to tell it to generate beat marks. And this time it says this operation will determine the average beat from the selected marks and apply them for the rest of the song. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. And how long should they be generated for? If we leave it blank, they'll go all the way to the end of the song. So I'll just leave it blank. I'll OK it. And it says it's going to be adding 164 marks. Do I want to continue? Yes. Now if I OK it, these will all be in there all the way to the end of the song. Now once again, if they're off, and yes they are slightly off because nobody ever plays music exactly in cadence, it, it will change slightly. But we can fix this just simply by moving this one now to the beginning of that beat. And the ones here after the last beat we don't actually need. So I'm going to delete them by simply clicking on them on the left button to highlight it and then right click and then left click again on delete mark. And this is how you get rid of these. Yeah. Right click and delete it. Highlight, right click, delete. Highlight, right click and delete. Okay, now we're going to evenly space these. So we're going to go back to where they're actually in line. Oh, let's see. We'll say the one right here about 40 is going to be okay. So we'll go back to the mark manager. Highlight it again so that they show up. We'll go down to the first one past the 40 mark. That's from here. And we'll go to the end of the song now. And I'll highlight this section of them by holding down the shift key and highlighting the bottom. So now from the 40 all the way to the end of the song, we're going to tell it to evenly space the marks. So I'll click that and OK it. Now our marks are all pretty much right dead where they belong. Now at the beginning we have a section here where I had to listen to the beat before I could start uh, mimicking it. So we need to go at the very beginning. This 4 mark, I'm going to go back to Mark Manager. 
highlight it once again and I'm going to see what the last three digits are here on the 40. It's a point zero four six. So we're going to add one right at the very beginning. I'm going to click in the box and you have to put it in the same format as it is here. So it'll be a zero. Shift the double dot zero zero single dot and then the zero four six zero four six and I'll tell it to add that mark I'll OK it and we'll have a mark at the very beginning now now we can tell how many sections are in here because that's going to ask what it's going to ask us next is how many equal parts are in here so we'll have one part two three four five six seven and the last one is eight so there'll be eight equal parts in this so once again back to mark manager highlight it we're going to highlight the first one and the second one by holding down either the shift or the control and here we're going to generate submarks in between. So we'll click, and how many equal segments? There was eight. And I'll tell it OK. And do I want to put these marks into a different collection? No, I want to keep them in this collection. So I'll tell it no, and now they've been added to this collection. I'll OK it, and we can see that we have our eight marks and they all appear to be pretty much right at the beginning of the beat so now uh, this is all we need before we can begin actually having our lights light up we'll begin writing this um, first thing I'm going to do is save the sequence just so that I don't lose what I've already gotten